Hi everybody, this is Josh from Power Creative. I just wanted to show you in this video uh, how the vector portraits work when you open them in something like Illustrator or iDraw or a vector application of your choice um, for, for a couple of reasons. One, I, I want to show you kind of how to pull everything apart um, when you download it as a PDF or as an SVG from Google Drawings, as well as to just really kind of show that these are actual vectors. Everything that I'm making in Google Drawings is, uh, is actual vector uh, graphics, vector information, except for maybe like the background, so I'll use uh, bitmaps for that. So what I'm gonna do is go over to File. I'm gonna download this as a PDF. And then uh, first I'm going to show you this in Illustrator. So I'm going to open that in Illustrator. And you see it opens right up in Illustrator. And I can just already see by hovering over everything that I have paths in here. These are all vector paths. But if you wanted to pull this thing apart and really see what this is made of and also kind of what, uh, what Google Drawings has done uh, and, and little things that it's it's added one to uh, kind of crop everything to the artboard or canvas. It's added some clipping masks in, uh, um, and Illustrator understands those. So first thing, I, I'm just, I've got the layers panel open here. So I'm going to open this layer up. And the, the first thing I see, it, I have a group. And first, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the clipping masks. And just by selecting them, I'm going to hit the trash can, get rid of that, and get rid of that. And if I wanted to also get rid of the the uh, the the pixel information you see as I zoom zoom in here this background is definitely a uh, a JPEG so I can get rid of that and uh, and now I've just got this uh, this this group here now there are a group uh, there's another group inside this group and so what I'm going to do just to kind of get it sort of formatted the, uh, the simplest way in Illustrator is if you double click uh, you go into isolation mode in, uh, in Illustrator, and then I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go over to Object and hit Ungroup, and I'm going to do this twice because there's two groups in here. I'm going to oh, go in here again. Okay, so get out of isolation mode. So I've got this one more group here and ungroup. There we go. So I had to go inside the group to ungroup something and then go outside uh, the group, out, uh, exit isolation mode to um, to ungroup everything. And I just selected everything with the object ungroup. And so now I've got all these pieces and these are all separate little pieces as you can see. I can move them around and, and kind of really mess this thing up. And so just, just so I don't do that, I'm just going to select everything again and then regroup it. Let's go to object group. And so now I've got one group and I'm going to call that group Roberto Blake Vectors. Uh, and I can move it around however I want. I could uh, you know, pull in my own shapes here and draw things and change their color, etc. And, uh, and you can see how these now can interact with each other and I could do a whole lot of things, whatever I want to do inside of Illustrator. So now I've got my vector portrait inside Illustrator. And I can save this as an AI file or save it again as a PDF or do whatever I want uh, inside Illustrator. I'd also like to show you this in iDraw. So I'm going to open the same PDF, go back to the beginning here. I'm going to open the same PDF inside of iDraw. I actually think iDraw is a little bit more simple. So if you're looking for um, a vector application and you use Mac uh, and you want to do some vector graphics and, um, and maybe Illustrator's just been really uh, intimidating to you, then uh, try iDraw. All right, the first thing I see in this PDF is that the, uh, the image is actually on top of my my vectors. So here I just open up the layers panel again inside of iDraw and um, 
I can just start deleting stuff here. And you see here, the same thing, everything is inside of a group. So I can just do Command Shift G to ungroup everything. And there we go. I can get rid of the, the uh, background shapes just like that. And then select everything and put it into a group. And I can name that group. And I've got my vectors, just like that. Um, the groups work similarly. Like if uh, with a single click, I select the group. With a double click, I move inside that group and I can select objects inside this group and uh, move them around. I can hit the A key just like an illustrator and get my, my vector uh, uh, dark selection tool or path selection tool and edit all my paths just like that. So you can see all these vectors. This was all created inside of Google Drawings. I'm going to go back to Google Drawings and just show you kind of the same thing. Now, we don't have layers in uh, Google Drawings. We don't have any other panels or tools that, that kind of help us navigate. So I use grouping a lot. Um, as you see right now, the whole portrait right here is in one group. And I can just move him off to the side, select my background, delete that. Go, my, go to my background, go to transparent. Now this is basically just showing you how I can kind of pull everything apart if I wanted to change the background or just isolate the vector information from these vector portraits. So now I've got the uh, portrait here. And uh, similarly, I can double click, even though this is all in one group, I can double click inside the group and you see I've got, I've got my nodes. I can move these around, change things however I like. And uh, as long as I'm inside this group, I can select all the different pieces and move them or change them or edit their paths. Uh, with a click outside the group, again, I'm sort of like outside that isolation mode, um, even though there's not, not none of that terminology inside Google Drawings. But you do have a lot of the same um, abilities, a lot of the same power of, of creating vector shapes. Now what you don't have, and this is partly what has sort of contributed to this sort of chunky style that, that I've been doing a lot of, is the ability to edit curves in Google Drawings. Basically you've got a, a polyline tool which creates straight lines, and you have a curve tool which creates curves, but you don't have a combination of those. You can use both of them in the same Google Drawing to have shapes that have curves and shapes that have straight lines. But uh, I found that this this has really been a big factor in kind of coming up with this this kind of like almost a low poly sort of look for these vector illustrations. So just wanted to show you how those work both in, in Illustrator and in iDraw once you export them as PDF uh, from Google Drawings. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.